Good evening, fellow Singaporeans. My name is Nicole Sia, and I'm very honoured today to stand here alongside all of you concerned Singaporean voters. Selamat malam. Apa kabar semua? Hi. Sudah buka belum? Sedap tak? I will start my speech by talking a bit about my experiences growing up. When I was a kid, my memory of the elected president was the memory of the late Mr. Ong Ting Chiong. My family called him the people's president. He said, they said he loved Singaporeans, though I never really understood what that meant until I grew up later. It meant that he was willing to question the incumbent government on the state of our reserves. Fast forward to today, I'm honoured to stand here amongst this group of eminent speakers. People from different professional backgrounds, we have doctors, we have lawyers in our midst, and I'm just an ordinary Singaporean, but all of us are here today for one reason. We are here today because we support Mr. Tan Ji Se in his bid for President of Singapore. When I was first invited to speak at this rally for the presidential elections, I found myself at a loss for words. This is because the presidential elections is vastly different from the general elections. We are not here to witness a war of words, and we are not here to fight for the right to run your constituency and nation. We are here today for a different purpose, and today I will speak about that purpose. Many people have expressed concern about the presidential elections. Some have said, this has turned into a media circus. From two consecutive walkovers, Singaporeans are now faced with a four-cornered fight and they cannot decide on who to vote for. Many Singaporeans have also said that they do not know exactly what they are voting for. There is confusion. There is an unwillingness to take sides for the fear that it may cause a deeper rift amongst different groups of Singaporeans with different beliefs. The role of the elected president has continued to remain vague and we do not know much about it because of the perceived inaction of the previous president. With that, I would like to encourage all of us Singaporeans to hold the role of the elected president to scrutiny because we do not need a president that remains silent on the issues affecting this nation. We do not need a president who is a figurehead. More importantly, we do not need a president who is a yes man. What we need is a president who can go beyond fulfilling his ceremonial duties to apply moral pressure on the government when it is needed. But fellow Singaporeans, do not be mistaken in thinking that we are endorsing a candidate who is opposing for the sake of opposition. However, we need a president who will have the moral courage to stand up to the government when things are not right. We need a president who will dare to speak up for us and to ask 
Is this fair to the people of Singapore? It has been said that the elected president needs to be a non-partisan, unifying figure for Singaporeans. But the elected president can only be a unifying figure if he first recognizes the diversity in our society. He can only be a united figure if he acknowledges that we are all unique individuals with different viewpoints, instead of squeezing us into the same mold of groupthink. He can only be a unifying figure for Singaporeans if he recognizes that our society is a vibrant one with more colors other than the shade of white. The elected president will only be a unifying figure if he helps to speak up actively for the people, the less fortunate in society, and those who are unable to speak up for themselves. So this Saturday, my vote will go towards the person whom I think fulfills all this criteria. And I think that the right man for the job is Mr. Tan Ji Se. So, my fellow Singaporeans, as you go to the polls this Saturday, I hope that you remember three things. Number one, you have a purpose. Your vote will hold the power to push for transparency and clarity on what the role of the elected president entails. Number two, a president can only be a unifying figure for the people if he first understands the diversity of opinions and needs within the Singapore society. Lastly, the time is now for us to pick a president with the moral courage to serve the best interests of this nation. And that man, fellow Singaporeans, to me, is Mr. Tan Ji Seng. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. I don't know if you guys heard this rallying call, but I was just taught it, and I thought it was brilliant. Shall we all do it together? G say, we say. Or we say, G say. G say, ho say. Now put it together. Ready? We say, G say. G say, ho say. Keep on going. Come on. We say, G say, G say, ho say. Well done. Okay, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Guys, I hear there are 30,000 of you here this evening making tonight's first ever presidential election rally in the history of Singapore an amazing one. So give yourselves a round of applause. All right, we've all been waiting to hear from the man himself. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the man who may become our new president. Confirm, I like that, double confirm. Okay, he is an investment advisor and has worked in international banks and asset management institutions such as Deutsche Morgan Grenfell, Grovet Asset Management and Standard Chartered Bank for over 13 years as Managing Director and Regional Head of Asia Pacific Operations. Prior to joining the financial sector, he was with the Administrative Service for 11 years, including six years in the Ministry of Trade and Industry and five years as the Principal Private Secretary to then Deputy Prime Minister Go Chok Tong. 
Mr. Tan is a Chartered Fellow of the Chartered Institute of Securities and Investment and has an Islamic Finance Qualification jointly awarded by the Chartered Institute and ESA of Lebanon. He graduated from Oxford University where he studied philosophy, politics and economics on a Singapore Government Overseas Merit Scholarship. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a rousing applause for Mr. Tan Jisei.